Sierra Leone's former president, Ernest Baikaroma, is expected to appear in court facing charges of treason. And that's related to a failed coup in November last year. Now, more than 20 people were killed as key sites across the West African country were attacked. The government claims it was all orchestrated by security officers loyal to Karoma. Ahmed Idris joins us now from the capital, Free Time. So what are we actually expecting uh, in terms of the charges that the former president might face, Ahmed? Well, Sahel, uh, we expect Koroma, first of all, to drive into the court premises here. And he's been here consistently since the first day of questioning. Meanwhile, 200 meters away from where we're standing, um, most of his co-accused are kept in this particular prison, just uh, adjacent to the court. Now, what to expect today could be tri a little bit tricky. We expect some movement regarding the fate of Anis by Koroma. Uh, we've seen over the last 24 hours how his medical records have been leaked. And we've also seen over the past few weeks how the regional bloc, the economic community of West African states, has been mounting pressure on the Sierra Leonean government to allow Ernest by Koroma to leave the country and stay in exile in Nigeria, which, of course, has been discussed long before. And initially, uh, there was a furious response from the uh, current government, uh, saying that uh, the offence be he's being accused of is treasonable, and, of course, uh, they wouldn't consider that. But over the past few weeks, we've noticed some progress in the movement of this particular case. Now, following the release of his medical records overnight or last night, uh, we've seen how the legal thing is developing at the moment. First of all, Koroma is standing trial in this particular court, but his lawyers are angry about the leakage of his medical report and are saying that the jurisdiction to listen to that case about his medical condition is not within the purview of the magistrate court, rather it's with the high court. So Koroma will not be in two places at the same time. But we expect him to be here, and probably uh, maybe this could develop into a case of whether or not Koroma is fit enough to stand trial. And if that is judged to be so by the, uh, by the judges, that he is not fit for trial, then probably we'll see uh, probably a breakthrough uh, from both the government side and the economic community of West African states to ferry him out of the country. So we're watching this very closely, and there is that possibility that his trial could go on, but there is also a strong possibility that they could be a soft landing for the former president. So, I'm an address there for us in Freetown. Thank you.